Yo guys, it's Daddy David here and welcome back to another video and today I'm looking at some funniest game show answers. So yeah, these are stupid answers, hilarious answers, yeah, just generally like what the heck answers and yeah, so, so yeah, let's begin, I don't have anything to say and leave a like and subscribe. So. Let's just get into it. During what month of pregnancy does a woman begin to look pregnant? September. <laughs> September. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's great. Something you wouldn't try even once. Not you. Sex on a train. <laughs> what? Not you. Sex on a train. Sucks on a train. Sex on a train. Oh, sex on a train. <laughs> no! Funnily enough, our survey people didn't come up with that one. Something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. Rob! Naked grandma! Naked <laughs> huh? He said naked grandma. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong, yeah, like, you wouldn't want to see a naked grandma if you went <laughs> to <drop> a house. <laughs> but, <laughs> what? <laughs> Name a famous Willie. Willie the Pooh? <laughs> <laughs> How do you manage to screw up Winnie the Pooh this bad? Can you have Willy Wonka? Um, Willie. I don't know why the Willies are there yet, but I know Willy Wonka's one, but Winnie the Pooh, like. How? Oh, that's how. But yeah. I do have my volume quite high because sometimes it's hard to hear what they're saying and there's no captions, so yeah. Hi, Ken. Hi. You know John? Yes, we do. <laughs> Doesn't she have pretty nipples? Uh, uh, pretty dimples there, John? <laughs> pretty nipples? What? <laughs> what was he trying to say? What? Hi, Ken. Hi. You know John? Yes, we do. <laughs> Doesn't she have pretty nipples? Uh, uh, pretty dimples there, John? <laughs> What's he trying to say? Dimples? What? Gentlemen, tell me, what is your favorite part of our newlywed game set? Jim? Probably wife number two. <laughs> what? Name a piece of clothing wives buy for their husbands. Halter tops. What? Edgar. Fish love? <laughs> Sorry. Jenny? Fish Wish love. list. Name <laughs> something Fish you love. feel before you buy it. Excited. <laughs> <laughs> a vegetable you make. What is something what is something you feel before you buy? Excited. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I always feel, ex yeah, always, um, <laughs> yeah, always feel excited things in, yeah, I, I can't even make a joke out of that, because, yeah. Marinate. Grapes. <laughs> a vegetable that you might need. And something right. you might buy that could turn out to be phony. Yeah, of course. What? A horse? Yeah, a horse. A horse. Something that might be phony. A horse. Dreaded phony horse gag. <laughs> Something that can kill a lively party. A gun. <laughs> gun. 
the most romantic sounding musical instrument. Drones. <laughs> what? I mean, something you might accidentally leave on all night. Yes. Your shoes. <laughs> Name something. I mean, it's not wrong. You may leave your shoes on all night, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're talking about like TV and computer things, like electronics. And people take with them to the beach. Turkey? The first <laughs> thing you buy in a supermarket. Uh, turkey. <laughs> the food often stuffed. Turkey. Describe. <laughs> okay, all of you guys watch this video. Go down to the comments and tell me if you buy a turkey <laughs> if you take a turkey to the beach okay I wanna hear your comments girls personally I don't but I don't know maybe you do I have these words that begin with the letters S T A go ouch a game you can play in bed Steve I spy I spy <laughs> something you squeeze peanut butter <laughs> <laughs> what would be the ideal everyday temperature? Everybody, disrobe. Ninety-eight point three. <laughs> <laughs> <Service. laughs> How do you manage to screw up this bad? Ninety-eight degrees. I mean, if your body temperature is 98 degrees, yeah, then you really need to see a doctor straight away. I mean, that is not normal. People, your time starts now. A group of pill pushers? <laughs> Name a yellow fruit. Orange. <laughs> <laughs> An orange. <laughs> the color is in the name. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> last time I checked, an orange isn't an, isn't a yellow fruit. It's an orange fruit. <laughs> oh. <my. laughs> okay. Yeah. Name something that comes in pairs. Fred. Bananas. Oh, God. We asked a hundred people to name a famous Arthur. Kenny. Um, Shakespeare. Arthur Shakespeare. <laughs> uh, if this guy is, if this guy is English, yeah, this makes it a lot, a lot worse. Oh dear, Arthur Shakespeare. Yeah, definitely not William Shakespeare. Arthur Shakespeare. Yeah. <laughs> Name something that follows the word pork. You pie. Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> you pie. Gentlemen, other than popcorn, what is your favorite thing to nibble on at the movies? Steve? Ooh, I'm gonna get shot. Uh, her boobs, I don't know if you... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what makes it worse that he said that on live TV or that he does it in the movie theatre I don't know what's worse <laughs> what I mean I don't know yet like, if you go to a cinema you might nibble on some I don't know have we bought some sweets I don't know yet but I've never seen anybody nibble somebody's boobs <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. Let's just carry on. Body that gets bigger as adults get older. Freddy penis. <laughs> <laughs> Name something a man has that he's he upset. If someone else used it. How about his jockstrap? <laughs> what? If someone else used it. Name something a man has that he'd be upset. If someone else used it. How about his jockstrap? <laughs> 
<laughs> How many decades will your husband say his mother has lived? Gloria. Ten decades. Ten decades. <laughs> Gentlemen, how many decades has your mother lived? Daryl, you have a troubled look on your face. What's the matter? Oh, uh, I don't know what a decade is. <laughs> 44th birthday, so she'd be good. It's four years a decade. She'd be 10 decades. 10 decades. <laughs> Something usually done only once a week. Ah, uh, make love. <laughs> what? Something usually done only once a week. Uh, make love. <laughs> oh. Tell me a slang term that means wife. <laughs> he didn't just say that. Oh. Okay, I am gonna have to bleep it out here, but he basically said female dog. Okay. <laughs> I would not be surprised if his wife set up the divorce papers like live in that TV show or how do you manage to screw up this bad? I, I literally need to make a try not to turn off challenge after these videos. <laughs> I mean, I feel I'd rather find pickles, yeah, in the back of a truck than a dead body. Something a teenage boy can do for hours at a time. Masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> Something that has to... He's not wrong, yeah. <laughs> I mean... I mean... Oh. I, I really want to know how, my, how many points you got for that. To warm up before you use it, sir. How about your wife? <laughs> I feel what makes it worse is that they're like, what, at least 75-ish years old? I don't know, I'm bad with ages, but they are old, like, oh dear. For snow on her wedding day. Yes, I did. It was 32 degrees and no snow on my wedding day, but I had eight inches on my honeymoon. So. Then the part of the body everybody has only one of. Sarah. Big toe. <laughs> what do your husband says his favorite thing to squeeze in the supermarket. Jane? I say his meat. Pardon? His meat. Right. Give me a slang name for policeman. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> the dick. Oh, what? What is happening? What even is this? Dick. <laughs> okay. Let me see what he says. Oh. Uh. Name a state that begins with the letter M. Mexico. <laughs> name a game you could play in the bath. Annette. Scuba diving? <laughs> <laughs> Something your neighbor has you wish you had? A beautiful wife. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh no! That is evil! No! Oh. His wife better not be watching that show, yeah, because when he comes back home, yeah, he's gonna get slapped so hard, yeah. Oh. The bear. Oh, wait, what is it? <laughs> Name a kind of bear. Papa bear. A papa bear. <laughs> bear. Only a papa bear. Come on, we need a pee. London is famous for. Name something London is famous for. London. I'm thinking pasta. <laughs> Any questions such as, how old are you? What? Yeah. Eighteen. What? <laughs> such as imposters. Hey, what? In the questions such as how old are you? Yeah. Eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> Eighteen. 
No. I'm not 18. You're not? No. You certainly <laughs> fooled me. Just a second. I'm going to read the question. Name a question such as, how old are you, that you might answer with a lie. You, uh, I would say 50. <laughs> Yeah, I don't understand it, right? No, sweet Lizard. I don't understand it. Give me another sort of question that you might lie about. I would say it's, I'm 39. Oh my lord, what have they done? For most of the electric. What? They say, what question would you lie about? Like your age. Oh my lord. Oof. Oof. Okay. Electricity in our home flows from the blank to the what? From the plug to the vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> what a girl should know about a man before she marries him. You just got it, Lynn. What would you what would you say? His name. His what? Name. His name. <laughs> His name. You mean something made of leather? Yes, sir. A purse. You're going to be slightly embarrassed when I finish this question. A purse! <laughs> Name something made of leather that a cowboy uses. Oh. <laughs> describe the weather with a word or phrase that would also describe your wife. Wet! Wet. <laughs> Name an animal whose eggs you'd probably never eat for breakfast. Hamster. Hamster? <laughs> Last time I checked here, yeah, hamsters, hamsters don't lay eggs. Oh, come on, I me mean, like ostrich. You don't eat ostrich eggs. Um, bird eggs. Um, like well, other animal. Um, who else lay, lays eggs? Do fox count? Like, do they lay eggs and then tadpoles come up? I don't know, yeah. I haven't done bio biology since like, since like a month, so. Name something in your house you would yell at if it stopped working. Probably spouse. <laughs> uh, an old woman's breasts. Things that sag. <laughs> Reason you might stay indoors on a beautiful day. Because it's raining? Why might you stay indoors on a beautiful day? You know, nice sunny, uh, nice fresh green grass, um, you know, no clouds, nice hot weather, rain, yeah. Oh dear. Something made of wool. Sheep. What? Something made of wool. Sheep. Only made of wool. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. The commissioner said, I think Batman and Robin are blank. Queer. <laughs> Name a day of the year when you really want to be with friends. December. <laughs> Name something normally worn only by children. Michael. Clothes. <laughs> we asked the... me is that he's an adult and he's wearing clothes so to understand how you could screw up this bad oh who did 100 women name something women borrow from each other chris one of those husbands their husbands chris <laughs> what? women name something michael clothes <laughs> we asked 100 women name something women borrow from each other chris one of those husbands their husbands <laughs> chris <laughs> what, what, what is the one thing the people on the other side of your street have more of than you do. Cars. Cars. Your wife said they have more, more grass than you do. More grass. Where well, have you I, I wouldn't bet on that. What's <laughs> <laughs> the name? A famous robber. Joe. Um, cops. 
He said, name a time that most people get up. And being the Einstein that you are, you said, morning. <laughs> no more. Our survey said... Oh, come on. Now, if that wasn't bad enough, I then said, name a time that most people go to bed. You said, of course, night. Our survey said, two. You know what is so okay. great about this show? We have talented people like the Ramiro family on our show. Paul is a concert pianist. Steve, what do you do? <laughs> I sell frozen bull semen for artificial insemination. Wait, 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 what? Steve, what do you do? <laughs> I sell frozen bull semen for artificial insemination. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you? Fine, thank you. What's your story? Well, I, I'm in young girls' pants. I manufacture pants. <laughs> <laughs> Name part of the telephone. The bottom part. <laughs> One of the three bears. Yogi. <laughs> One of the three bears. Yogi. One of the One of the three bears. Yogi. <laughs> Name something with a hole in the middle. Michelle? Ball punch. <laughs> I know everyone in America said what the audience did. What she say? Okay, fill them in. You? No, that's incorrect. I'm sorry. Fill the blanks in order or pick a tile, Chris, whatever you want um, to do. Like okay, fill them in. I. No, sir, that's incorrect. Okay, fill them in. A. Wrong. I've never had this happen. It's the first time. Chris? I know it. You know it? All right, fill it in. Oh. Yes. I. Yes. T. Yes. E. Yes, so. I made a hundred people and asked them to name a way of toasting someone. Michelle. Over a fire. What? Toasting someone. A way of to- I made a hundred people and asked them to name a way of toasting someone. Michelle. Over a fire. If you could travel to any foreign country in the world, where would you go? Uh, Pakistan. Um, uh, uh, I take wrap rubber bands around my t-shirt and stick it in tie-dye? Yes. Um, uh, these are the ugly sandals that lesbians wear. Uh, Perkins uh, yes. <laughs> what was the most infantile suggestion you made to your wife on your first date, Joe? Uh, why don't she eat something? All right. Patty says the most infantile suggestion was that, uh, that she should, shouldn't be so close-minded. I should be looser, you know. Uh, you you were loose enough that night. Joe! <laughs> Why would you say that? Oh mother! I mean, this video was made in 2013. Yeah, I just realized 22nd January 2013. So I guess they're quite old, but still, why would you say that? Country has the highest ratio of doctors to population. The country with the most Jews. <laughs> I would say Israel. You have a doctor in every family. It's a cousin. Could be an uncle. Couple of specialists. I'll agree. You agree with that? It's Israel. He's it right. is? Something you wash what? once a week. Claudia. Yourself. Yourself. <laughs> you wash yourself once a week. Clothes. Legs. <laughs> Some leave people clothes. Legs. <laughs> Man of the world, traveled all over the world. Something Russia's famous for, Bob. Russians. <laughs> <laughs> Something Russia's famous for, Russians. <sighs> I mean, he's not, he's not wrong, but then he's not right. I mean, well, this video is going to be a long one. Name an animal with three letters in its name. You said frog. Our survey said zero. Two people would have to say that. Something that comes with a summer storm. You gave me the answer. Snow. Our survey said... Remind everyone to Bob's shame. The answers he gave us are going to be 20 seconds on the clock, please. 
Name an animal with three letters in its name. Alligator. <laughs> name an animal with three letters in its name. You said alligator. <laughs> Our survey said... <laughs> How? 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 Alligator. <laughs> That's like ten words. What the heck? Having a dog, cat, ant, bat. Um... Yeah, that, you got four things to say, come on. Ten. So yeah guys, that's all. Yeah, this may be a bit of an old video, but I had a great laugh. I hope you did as well. And comment down below the most hilarious answer that there was in this video. I seriously, for me it would either be the person that, <laughs> that said a slang word for his wife would um or oh yeah the alligator one or the other one off i forgot what it was oh yeah of the guy that said that only kids wear clothes <laughs> i don't know tell me which one you found the funniest in the comment section below and yeah i'll see you guys in a new video peace out